Welcome to the May Lunch Break Session. The Lunch Breaks are video and audio educational sessions about topics in the Christmas tree industry. There are a variety of topics discussed, such as safety, weed identification, mental health and agriculture, research project reviews, grading, shearing, genetics, and business tools, and much more. The Lunch Break Sessions are uploaded by the end of every month, and the live sessions are no longer available on Zoom. Sessions are available anytime on the Christmas Tree Council of Nova Scotia's YouTube page, media.ctcns.com, in video and podcast form. They're available in the monthly Regional Association e-newsletters, in the quarterly journal, and on the CTCNS social media channels on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Today's lunch break is How to Graft on Balsam for Rootstock, Produced by the CTCNS research team and hosted by Leanna Hogue, the acting Christmas tree specialist. All right, the CTCNS research team is here at Scott and Stewart today grafting exotic furs onto balsam fir rootstock. Scions of softwood trees can be collected during the winter and stored until grafting in early spring. Collection from balsam fir should ideally take place in February while trees are in dormancy. Scions should be collected from the top third of the tree and scions should be at least 8 to 10 inches in length and about the width of a pencil. Longer scions allow for fresh cuts to be made prior to grafting. After scions are harvested, Place them in a large Ziploc bag with proper labeling. You can add a dampened paper towel or newspaper to the bags, but ensure they're not too wet as excessive moisture can encourage decomposition and reduce viability of the scions. You can store bags of scions in a refrigerator, but do not allow them to freeze. Another mode of storage is to bury them in snow with sufficient cover. Check on the scions every two weeks and remove any scions that have sprouted or shown signs of mold or decomposition. Science can be stored up to three to four months with sufficient care. Okay, so this is uh, exotic fir scion. This one in particular is needle fir. So we have harvested these back in February and they've been in storage since. So as you can see, they're nice and green and healthy and the inner cambium is still green. So that's an indication that the scions are still in good standing. So what we're gonna do is prep this scion so it's ready to actually be grafted onto the rootstock. So what we do is we take about an inch, an inch and a half, we remove the needles I'll do that now. You want to keep the bark as intact as possible. Some some species, uh, the needles will hold on harder, but others like this one, they seem to pop right off. Okay, so your scion is prepped. So now we're going to stick that on snow while we get our rootstock prepped. This is a balsam fir rootstock that's been produced by Scott and Stewart Nursery. And what we're going to do is now prep it for the graft. So we're going to remove at least part of the top leader, remove the needles and the buds that are growing on the top leader. And knives make it easier to remove those lateral buds. So removing the needles on both the scion and the rootstock just provides that the graft has a really good seal. Okay, so now I'm going to cut it down a little farther. So what we can do, I'm going to show you here that the, the cambium and the rootstock, the, the aim is to line the cambium and the rootstock up to the cambium and the scion. So what I'm going to do is take my knife and cut directly down the middle of the top leader. Okay, so then we're going back to our scion, just here, and we're going to do a keyhole graft. So you always want to have a fresh cut on your scion as well, so just take that end off anytime you're going to graft it on. We're going to take the knife and we're going to cut the scion into the appropriate shape, flip it over, lay it flat. You really want the end of the scion to come to a point, as you can see. There, so you can see the nice green cambium. 
So now what we're gonna do is simply do your keyhole graft and just make sure that it's cut deep enough. So that's a pretty good fit. I'm gonna actually cut it a little bit farther down so we have less of the cambium exposed to air. That should be fine there. And then you slide that in there. So now to finish off the graft, we're gonna take our grafting tape here. This is just a parafilm grafting tape and uh, cut off a small piece and we're gonna seal our graft here. This stuff's a little bit harder to work with, but get it. And usually you start at the bottom and work your way up. And later on when we're finished all of our graphs, we're going to take a wax and seal all of these before they go back into the greenhouse to grow out over the summer. So there's your graft. Okay, so we've transported our completed grafts that just have the tape on them now. They're up in the greenhouse, so now we're going to seal them with wax. And you have a couple options there. You can actually get grafter's wax or uh, something a little bit more convenient. You can go to your local uh, department store and get a toilable wax gasket and use that. It's just a beeswax. Okay, so we're going to take some wax, you can warm it up just between your fingers, and we're going to seal just the top of the graft. Since these are in the greenhouse, they're getting overhead watering, and we just want to ensure that uh, no water seeps down to the graft and uh, causes any mildew or anything like that. And just like that, your graft is done. And something else to mention is um, you're going to know if the graft sticks in about a month's time. Uh, you'll t your top buds will burst and the tree will flush and so just keep an eye on your graphs for the next month or so. Don't give up on them quite yet if they're looking a little rough. All right, today the CTCNS research team as well as some volunteers are out in the Sepperville experimental lot doing some more graphs within the lot. So today we're also doing exotics where previously you saw us grafting in the greenhouse. Today we are outside. So this specifically, this one's a con color and we'll be grafting it onto balsam fir rootstock. All right, so to get your tree prepped for a graft, you want to clean off the needle so you have a good space to work with, or give yourself a couple inches, uh, even if you cut out and you have some room to work with. So we're gonna cut off those top buds. Somebody had already come by and clean off those needles for me, so we're ready to go. I'm gonna take my knife and cut straight down the leader. go and then we're going to get our scion ready here. So now we're going to prep our scion to get ready to graft onto the tree. So we, again we've cleaned off the needles any buds that are going up besides your top buds and now we're going to make your keyhole cut. Cut it like that and then flip it over lay it flat. Same thing. Take it down and you want it to come to as much of a point as possible. I'm going to clean that guy up a little. Okay, and now it's ready to be grafted. Okay, so now we're going to place our scion into the graft cut on our rootstock, just to check the fit. And on this side, it's pretty good. If you want to swing around for a second, it's... When you're placing your scion into your graft, you want to make sure that the cambiums line up. And the cambium is that green piece on the scion, and the rootstock also has it too. So when you slide it in, and you line up that one side, the cambiums are going to match up. So that's going to provide the scion with water, nutrients, everything it'll need. Our tape here, so this is actually a thicker electrical tape. I think it's a 3M. And uh, when you cut it, you want to cut it in half off the roll because otherwise you're going to have too much material. We're going to stretch it out slightly. Because, uh, if you stretch it out, it gives it uh, a little less time for it to break down. So it won't stick around on your graph so long. We start at the bottom. And make sure that your graph stays in place so those cambiums remain lined up. And working from bottom to top. Make sure that's all sealed up there. 
There we go. And the graph is taped. So someone's now going to come by with the wax and start at the top to seal that top and bring it down to seal the rest of the graph. And you're done. Everyone I've seen, you've done perfectly. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's great. Or even maybe this one. That looks like a Greek I love all these dotics. They're so fun. Mm -hmm. This one might be good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.